Good evening. It is late night, day 104, FSQ 28, Federal Self Quarantine 28. And uh, saw my email today. I checked my social media, and apparently, people have finally received their stimulus checks. And so, the question is what to do with your money? I'm going to give you. Uh, seven businesses that you can start for under a thousand dollars and really under 500 bucks you guys are going to constantly hear uh, three or four things on this channel number one number one you're going to hear about faith you're going to hear about family you're going to hear about finance you're going to hear about entrepreneurship why that's what we do here uh, we have a marketplace ministry, and we preach and teach the Word of God, and we also enhance that teaching with life, practical skills that you can apply, not only in your personal life, but also in your ministry and also in your your family. And if you're an entrepreneur, which most people who are following me on all my social media platforms are falling fall in those categories, uh, entrepreneurs have their own business, want to start their own business. So uh, here are seven things that you should do uh, with your money, whether it be 1200 and some people are going to get 1200 plus to $500 per child, per dependent. So you're going to get a couple different things here. Here's what I suggest you do. Uh, number one, obviously save. Save 10% of that. Put that money someplace, save slash invest. At my, excuse me. It's late night. I need to get in bed. Anyway, uh, I suggest you save 10%, invest 10%. All right. And then here's my list of things that uh, you can do. Number one, if you want to put your book out, some people have been sitting on their talent for years. And during this federal self, self quarantine, this is an opportunity that you can write that book, start that book, finish that book. Right, you can self publish for five, six hundred bucks, print up 200 copies of that book, and start selling it on your platforms. So, write your book, finish your book, self publish your book. Or maybe you want to invest in someone else's book, it goes back to your investing. But anyway, uh, write that book, publish that book, self publish. Number two, a lot of people are into fashion slash jewelry. What do I mean by that. A lot of people have good ideas for uh, T-shirts, good ideas for jewelry, and I suggest you invest in that. You know, you don't have to spend all your money. You can spend three, four hundred bucks and print up a few T-shirts, see how they sell. Print up, do a couple mock-ups in jewelry, and see how they sell. Make the jewelry and see how they sell. You don't have to spend all your money, but start out with three, four hundred bucks. Invest in something, jewelry and clothing. Whether it be T-shirts, whether it be long sleeve, short sleeve hoodies, hats, skull caps, whatever, something in the fashion world. And I'm lumping fashion jewelry all together, obviously because I don't want to have 25 different things. I want to keep it under seven. Okay. Number three, which is one I like, uh, photography. You could get a nice camera for five, six hundred bucks just to get started. That doesn't mean you got top notch equipment. I'm saying just to get started, and. Here's how you get started. Offer to take pictures for free, particularly baby pictures. Offer people who just had a baby, say that you'll take baby pictures for free. And you put together a free package. Maybe that consists of four different outfits. Maybe it consists of, uh, you know, maternity pictures are another one that people like to take that, that, you know, people you can offer for free. Get your name out there. Five, six hundred bucks, get yourself a decent camera uh, with an SD card. So you're doing stuff digitally, of course, and start your photography business. Here's another one. Also, here's extra credit. Whatever you choose to start, make sure that you absolutely enjoy it. Meaning, don't start another job. And here's a, here's a, a freebie. Do something that you would do for free. Right. So if you're into music, maybe you might want to start being a DJ. You know, if you're the no, if you're the guy that's known for putting together playlists and you're the guy that's known for uh, the birthday mixes, if you're the guy that's, you know, you're the dude who's known for putting together, uh, 
music for parties and gatherings, or if they give that to you as an assignment, you might want to invest. Remember, you don't got to spend all your money. Just spend three or four hundred bucks, five hundred bucks. Get yourself a basic mixer, basic uh, laptop. Get the software to play music, and then see how that works. Remember, we're talking about how to invest your tax refund or your stimulus check. Okay. Another one, car detailing. All right, that's another one. If you're a car buff, once again, you don't have to spend all your money. Spend three or four hundred bucks, five hundred bucks tops. Go to a hardware store, get yourself a decent car detailing kit, and once again, offer out your services at a discounted price. Get your name out there, and guess what? You can charge one hundred fifty, two hundred dollars a car if you do good. So if you don't, you can do three cars a weekend. That's 700 bucks. You know, if you do three cars a weekend, you know, 250, 250, 250, that's 750 bucks. Right? So, so start something that you absolutely enjoy. All right? For my ladies and some men, more lines in the Hollyweird acting side, video side, makeup artists. All right? For special occasions, of course. So you can do a whole wedding, you know, now, obviously, once again, do do something that you're absolutely good at. Don't pick something that you like. No, pick something that you're good at, that people are willing to pay you for. So become a makeup artist. Special occasions, right? Seeing your pictures, weddings. Um, maybe you want to get into Hollywood. You want to get into the music industry. You want to get into TV, television. Then start with makeup. You know, that's an excellent place to be. You know, people want to look good when they're on camera. So makeup is a huge thing. Once again, purchase a kit. You can get a kit for three, four hundred bucks. You don't have to spend two thousand bucks on a makeup kit. Start out small. See if this is something that you absolutely want to do. And if you're only going to spend two hundred bucks, you can actually use that makeup, right? As you uh, get older and as you use it for different events, okay? You can use that, what you invest in. All right. Here's a huge one. Handyman. And this is really goes really well if you're a handy person or mechanically inclined. Go with your hands. Right. People pay you $150, $200 to do stuff around the church, around the businesses, around the homes. You know, a huge thing. People don't like to do hang ceiling fans. Here's a huge one. Also, you can specialize in hanging TVs. That's a huge, everything, when I travel on the highways and byways, going to gas stations, I always like to look at the gas station bulletin boards because you get, you get, you could see what type of people are out advertising and marketing their businesses, right? And handyman, hanging TVs is a huge thing. Okay? Last one, and we're done. How about an event planner? This is another huge one. Once again, three, four hundred bucks, start an event planning business. You can do wedding planner. You can do birthday parties. You can do anniversary gatherings. You can do uh, quinceaneras. You can do bar mitzvahs. You can do all kinds of uh, maternity parties, all kinds of events that people would gladly pay you a couple hundred bucks to organize, which means you do the whole thing, get the location, order the food, Design the place, and you start out at three fifty, four hundred dollars. Okay, that's an excellent. You know, you do two of those a month. That's thousand bucks a month. Being an event planner, okay. And once you get good at it, people, you can actually upcharge, uptick, uptick. To get into weddings, people pay you two thousand bucks to organize a wedding, four thousand dollars to organize a wedding. The bigger the wedding, so you're setting up the whole shebang: anniversaries, birthday parties. You know, especially themed birthday parties, right? Those are events, right? So once again, I'm run down the list. What to do with your money? What to do with your stimulus money? Finish your book, self-publish. Number two, get into fashion, clothing, uh, jewelry, right? Photographer, get yourself a decent camera, three, four hundred bucks, five hundred bucks. You like cars, uh, you know, car detailing, DJing, doesn't cost you a lot of money to get started. Make sure this is something that you are relatively good at and that you'll do for free. Makeup artist, okay, handyman, and then event planning. All right, There's, I just gave you six, seven things that you can do all for under a thousand bucks. Listen, don't waste your money, okay? 
Use the money. Invest it in something that's going to make you more money. Don't go out here and buy a pair of shoes. Don't go out here and buy a purse. Don't go out here and buy a new phone with your stimulus check. That's what they want you to do. They want you to spend it in a consumer way. No, I am asking you guys to spend it as an investment. Make that thousand bucks, make you three or four times that over and over again for the rest of your life. This is your man, Earl. God bless you. Day 104, FSQ, day 28, 13th. It is uh, Monday night, late night. Actually, it's past late night. We're actually into Tuesday, but uh, it's late night, getting some more work done. Click the links below. Follow us on our social media platforms. Uh, we are still getting the bookstore up and going. We're still rebuilding. We're still raising funds. So we're still getting it in, y'all. We haven't stopped. We just haven't mentioned it as often because you know what? People who follow me, they know what's going on. And we're still building. We're still raising funds. We're still cleaning. We're still coming out with new gear. We're still coming out. We're still taking t-shirts. We're still taking orders. We're still shipping out stuff. Still making sauce. Uh, we're making it happen, y'all. God bless you. God keep you. Stay plugged in. Don't get lackadaisical over the quarantine. All right. This is your man, Earl. God bless you. God keep you. Day 104, Federal Self-Quarantine 28. Invest your stimulus money wisely. God bless you. Peace.